This is the owner's manual of the Wheel Horse Clevis Type A hitch, part number 8-5513. This is an original owner's manual um, for the same uh, hitch setup. Most of it's all original. I'll show some details as I go through the manual. I'm trying to film this video and other videos for um, I have a, a number of original wheel horse manuals I'll be going through. I'm going to try and provide high quality stable video so folks can actually uh, use the manuals from the video. I'll try and also provide PDFs eventually when I get a, a good scanner going. Shadow there. Get to another page without the shadow, maybe. Okay, and I'll, I'll just tell you a bit about what I know. About the Clevis hitch. Um, when I got it, uh, it was very rusted and not used for a long, long time. Um, so I spent a lot of time cleaning rust off of it. Um, stay tuned, you know, subscribe because I've got some great uh, original manuals that I will be going through everything I have. Okay, so um, I'm using the Clevis hitch quite a bit, mostly with the scoop tote so far. Um, uh, this this pin is uh, the wrong size. I'm still working on that. I actually made this uh, little uh, metal extension here so I can do kind of a cleaner. Um, I can make a tennis ball here or a little foam type covered handle, something real easy that doesn't uh, interfere with anything here. Because when you, you pull this, it uh, dumps the, uh, the um, scoop tote. And uh, I just kind of use it as like a little forklift thing this piece of wood that extends it. Anyway, I'll, I'll go into details about that later. And uh, let's look at this, this clevis hitch, or I believe the term sleeve hitch is interchangeable. And uh, the way it basically works is the, the, the hitch comes with um, this, this tube guide and this cable uh, with, the, um, with the pin and pin ends. It's a, the pin end is, a, is adjustable on the cable that goes through, kind of curves slightly over uh, the transaxle, I think. And um, on both ends, the way things kind of work is you've got a, um, a, a, a couple levers, um, in this case two, um, and it rotates off this, this uh, shaft here, and that's how the, uh, the action, so um, in this case, it's a cable, so it doesn't really apply any hydraulic force uh, in this direction, um, but it'll pull with uh, you know, all of its hydraulic force in that direction. And I'll, I'll look at the ratings later. I've, I've roughly said I feel like this thing, you can, you can put about 300 plus pounds, and it, it feels like nothing's going to break. And it's not straining too hard to lift about 300 here, which is pretty impressive. I was impressed. Um, I've towed another tractor uh, behind here using this and lifted it no problem. A little uh, LT 1036 I'll show in other videos. So, um, yeah, pivots on this point. Uh, um, I, I used emery paper on all the contact surfaces, so, um, you know, did all the proper cleanup on this. I'm undecided on repainting things. Uh, a few different options to preserve patina so I'll be tending not to repaint a lot of things most things really the um, uh, cleavage hitch is adjustable left to right via those two bolts in that plate I, I've still got one badly frozen there this other one I did manage to, to fight and get loose and replace with some new uh, bolt and nut 
So that's how you adjust. So right now I really have to use just the one side to adjust. If you can, if you have both sides working, um, and I'm talking about those two bolts. I'm talking about the um, one right here and one right here. So they push, they can push like that to adjust side to side, but then together they also can push, um, there's a single point that this adjustment piece attaches to see it's, it's hooked around the pin and then so it can move actually in sort of all dimensions in a sense on a pivot and um, that way you can adjust not just left and right alignment but whatever you have attached here but also um, you can adjust a little bit like that a little bit like that so that's pretty cool um, I'll be able to adjust a lot better once I get that other one I'm frozen it out so um, that cable that activates that lever system passes through and attaches right here to, um, uh, for lack of the correct name currently, the, um, the middle lift lever assembly. Um, so again, it rotates you know, the hydraulic hydraulic cylinder is acting uh, directly on an arm of that same shaft right there so that gives you, you know, this you, you can apply hydraulic pressure forward and backwards so I'm rotating this shaft and I, I'm thinking I've seen about 60 degrees of movement on these with the full what 10 in, 10 or so inches of travel of of this cylinder here and, and by the way my cylinder was had a lot of pitting and, and surface rust on it so before I even moved it um, I, I uh, treated it with emery paper quite a bit in the direction of travel and um, you know when I say emery paper I'm talking about 800 and then 2000 grit paper and this the, uh, the hydraulic valve you know, lift actuator um, was frozen solid pretty bad so I went very slowly and easily just trying to shoot uh, penetrating oil maybe a few different types down that down that shaft there just tapping on this you know just trying to ease oil in there over a couple days really before I put any force and then I just was wiggling back and forth back and forth very gradually and you know obviously there's some little bit of debris but uh, I think that you know the filter is going to catch any little bits of rust that I released there, it's probably all right. So it works great now, real smooth, no problem. Everything on this tractor works great pretty much. Um, so, uh, continuing about how the clevis hitch uh, system all kind of works together. Uh, this is your forward lift. This is my temporary piece of wire I'm using until I... The only thing I'm missing for this tractor is, is a lift bar here. Um, the, uh, dozer snow plow um, comes with a short and a long lift attachment according to the manual I don't have either I don't think and um, I will be making that because <clears throat> I can only apply lift here but actually you can apply down pressure if you have the solid bar that should be pretty easy to do it's just two pins on like a 10 inch 12 inch 12 inch bar and there's another way to, to mount the I'll go into other details because there's a few options for how you mount or attach the center lift to that. There's actually quite a few different things you can do. Um, so, <clears throat> and normally you wouldn't have a two attachments like this set up. I'm just working on things, getting them all working. But you know, it does work like this, but you wouldn't really get much work done <laughs> as they would go down together. But um, it can lift it, no problem. So this is this is the original chain. This was really corroded. I couldn't believe it. This was another example of vinegar. I'm gonna have to be. I'm gonna be talking about how good vinegar is for cleaning rust uh, as I go through these videos. I don't know that you would need anything else to clean rust because vinegar just works so good for me so far. But uh, anyway, this stuff came out like brand new with rust and you know the whitish corrosion on it. Um, I've got a lot a lot of original pins and clips. I keep everything original that I can and just um, clean them up. I try to use brass, brass brushes 
so I don't damage surfaces too much when I'm cleaning things, uh, or just leave some rust. And uh, you know, the patina is cool, but um, you know, eventually I'll get some better pins. I might have some original pins to um, get rid of that Harbor Freight one there. And you've got that chain. Um, you don't need much of it for this. You can use that chain for the centerpiece. I believe this chain actually came with the Clevis hitch, but I think it's kind of a standard rear horse chain and it's it's kind of versatile. You can there's different things you can do with different implements with the same chain. Um, and I'm gonna be uh, I'm gonna be getting some chain maybe. I'm gonna have a bar option and a chain option up front here. The chain will work great because you don't necessarily need to put down too much down pressure. Depends what you're trying to do with that dozer blade. So uh, let's see, have I left in any details about the Clevis hitch? Um, the pin, I don't have an original pin. Pretty sure I don't. Um, it's it's like five five eighths, something like that. Actually, I'll, I'll go find out the details. But, uh, maybe I'll do another video, show it in operation, and I've got a few different uh, things that attach to it. So have more later so stay tuned for more of those those manuals I'll show the manual so you can read it and use it and I'll I'll show it along with the actual implement it came with